We will be using Space Claim 17.2 to create the jib crane. Dimensions for the drawings can be found in the description box below. Right click on the jib assembly on the left hand side, click New Component and rename it Mast. Using the circle tool, click on the origin. Type in 1400 and hit enter. Plan view takes you perpendicular to the sketch surface. Now using the pull function, click on the shape and pull it 20mm. Creating a circle has a shortcut, C. Use it to draw a circle on the base. Hover over the origin and a sketch will be created on the surface. Type in the dimension and press enter. Offset the circle inwards by 20 mil and then pull the shape 5000 millimeters. Create the plane using the coordinate system, then move it 600 mil. Hold shift and hover over the top of the mast. Reference dimensions can be taken from this point. Then draw the jib rest. Tab can be used to cycle through the dimensions. Enter the value and press enter. Use the pull function. Click on the sketch and wait for the quick access toolbar to pop up. And use the function up to and pull the sketch up to the mask. Create a new component and rename it top plate. The top of the mast should be used to create the top plate. Using the origin, create a circle. Hold shift to measure from the origin, creating a rectangular section, and pull the shape to dimension. Create a new component and call it gusset. Create a plane using the coordinate system Highlighting the plane, click on the line tool and it will create a sketch. Create the gusset to dimension and pull the shape. Triple clicking will select the solid. Use the circular pattern tool and change the circular count to 6. Using the axis of the mast, create the circular pattern. Create a new component called the jib. Create a plane using the jib rest on the mast. Move the plane using the move function such that it is in the middle of the part. Highlight the plane and use the rectangle function in the sketch tab. Using shift, reference the top of the plate and create the jib to dimension. Draw the gusset on the jib and trim the line back if needed. Select the surfaces and pull the shape 4mm. As the shape is symmetrical, half the shape will be made and mirrored. Now using the offset tool, highlight the boundaries by double clicking on the edge. Offset the boundary by 8mm representing the flange. Draw the vertical and horizontal sections of the flange. Selecting the surfaces, pull the flange to dimension. Use the mirror function to mirror the part. First click on the plane that needs to be mirrored and then triple click on the jib to highlight the body. Your part is now finished.